The Kaduna State Government transition to a four-day working week in the state. In the interim, it will permit public servants to work from home for one day per week. And according to the state government, the measure is designed to boost productivity, improve work-life balance, and enable workers to have more time for their families for rest and for agriculture. It will also make public servants more familiar with virtual and remote working arrangements. Well, for a better understanding, let's bring in a RISE correspondent in Kaduna, Nisi Gabriel. Nisi, uh, glad to have you join us. It, it must be something of an exhilarating feeling for, for workers, yes, to hear that they can work one day at home and now they can work for four days. Bring us up to speed with what led to this, this decision or this policy by the Kaduna state government. Well, what's, what's actually good to speak to you, Andy? Well, uh, for many public servants in Kaduna State, this is a cheering uh, news for them. But uh, what actually led to this is because, like you rightly said, the state government believes that this will boost productivity of um, public servants. It will afford them um, enough time for them to be able to spend with their uh, families. But let me break it down properly. Uh, well, this will be implemented from 1st December 2021, where uh, public servants in Cardinal State will have to work four days in a week. What this also means is that the Cardinal State government has will be implementing a four-day week working system uh, in the state. And this also implies that the new working schedule will permit public servants to work from home for one day uh, per week. And it's also important to note that this new working from this, with this new working schedule beginning from 1st December uh, 2021, uh, public servants will have to work from 8 a.m. in the morning to 5 p.m. in the, the evening. The Cardinal State Government believes that uh, from its experience in handling the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, it believes that, that it can bring in new shifts uh, from, uh, from the old traditional working environment whereby public servants can now work virtually or remotely from their home. And they have also assured uh, public servants in the states that they will make available the right device, the right platform for, to make their work easy and efficient from their comfort zone. Great point you make there because I was actually going to ask for this uh, to succeed. Uh, public workers definitely need devices and platforms uh, to perform uh, optimally. It's good to know that the state government has taken uh, that into consideration. Um, well, Ndi was almost looking excited here, you know, as he was asking you that question. How are the people, the public workers, uh, reacting to this and how far reaching is this going to be? Well, private uh, you know, workers also uh, be affected? That's a very good question, uh, uh, Ungozi, the issue of the, pri the organized private uh, uh, sector. Well, uh, the state government in its wisdom has uh, set up senior officials uh, in the states and uh, they, they, they have been tasked to come up with guidelines and working documents. In other words, these uh, documents will later uh, uh, form will, will later form a bill that will be sent to the State House of Assembly, which uh, is hoped to be done next year, uh, next year, January 2022. Well, how are workers or how are residents uh, 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 receiving this news? Well, many have said that this is a welcome development. Many have said this is the future of the Nigeria public uh, sector, and uh, many have encouraged other state uh, governments to emulate uh, Kadna State. Uh, what Kadna State gov uh, government has done and many people are happy and they are saying that they are hoping to see how this will eventually pan out how the state government will be able to fully implement this for all another thing i have to say is the fact that for now emergency services like uh, the health sector education are not uh, included in this for the interim until that working document, until that guideline is being channeled to see how they can be infused into this uh, uh, system, into this policy properly for effective service delivery, 24-hour effective servi service delivery. So that's the, that's, that's the idea the state uh, gov uh, government uh, has. How will they be compensated? But have you had opportunity to speak to any, any worker, government worker, uh, and to... Uh, Maybe debrief them or get uh, really first-hand information on what their thinking is and whether this will really improve work. You know, it, it's good to rest. I mean, that's why uh, labor laws talk about you having your rest. 
Nisi. Well, uh, like I said earlier, many public servants, I, I've spoken to one at least, and uh, he received it, he's happy with the development. But this is not to say that the free day is just meant for public servants to just relax at home. They'll also be working from their home, but they'll be working remotely. Uh, recall a few, few, few months back when the, during the peak of the COVID-19 pandemic, not only in, in Africa, all over the world, uh, uh, remote working was, uh, was what was adopted all over. So this is what the Kanao State government is trying to do. It's trying to make their, their public service a 21st century public service. And it's trying to, they're also trying to make sure that public servants are fully equipped with ICT uh, technical know-how so that they can also deliver their job ef efficiently and effectively. Nisi, before we let you go, is there, uh, you know, legal framework for this to, you know, take off effectively? And are there systems really to measure the level of productivity within the public service during this one day uh, stay at home uh, working situation? Briefly. That's a very fun. That's a very fantastic question, uh, uh, Ngozi, because uh, I think what the state government will have to do and this uh, will form the regulatory framework, which will form the guideline that the senior officials that have been taxed with this responsibility will have to do. They will have to put in uh, 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 guidelines that will have to, uh, that, that will, for them to be able to measure the level of productivity of civil servants, even though they are working uh, remotely. So much. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Nisi Gabriel, our correspondent in uh, Kaduna there.